Hi everyone, my name is Daria Plikhanova. I'm a master trainer in ProGlance company. Today we will discuss a really challenging topic for both beginners and experienced masters – working with blondes. Working with blondes and fair-haired girls should be very delicate and you need to approach it very carefully. Sooner or later, every master faces such problem as choosing two bright shades for blondes. No matter what you use, tint or henna, it's important to choose an appropriate color so that eyebrow hairs don't become too bright or dark. Today I will show you how to avoid this problem when choosing henna or tint. But first, let's take a look at our model and define her season color. Look at appearance of our model Diana. We need to consider three aspects. The first is color temperature. It doesn't matter which season color you observe, winter, fall, spring or summer. Of course, blondes and fair-haired girls belong to two season colors, summer and spring. But it's not important. You need to find out whether it's cold or warm seasonal color. Let's apply this criteria. We see that Diana has golden strands in her hair. It's a honey-like warm shade. By looking at her hair, we can already conclude that it's a warm color type, rather than cold one. Besides that, Diana has freckles on her face. These freckles are also warm, they've got a honey-like warm brown shade. But I should note that freckles can also appear on girls of cold season colors and cold blondes. But in this case, they will be rather gray-brown. Ok, we have found out it's a warm color type. Next, we need to define the type of appearance – contrast or smooth. Brunettes often have a contrast type, when, for example, a girl has fair skin, dark hair or dark eyes. This contrast allows us to make bright, well contoured eyebrows. But blondes can also be of a contrast type, when their hair is light and the eyes are brown or maybe their skin is tanned. This is the contrast type of appearance too. When the blonde is bright and contrast, we can make her eyebrows well contoured and keep the shade brighter than the color of her hair. Some bright shades will also look well, but in our case, Diana has a smooth type of appearance, because we see no vivid transitions here. Fair skin, light colored eyes and light hair. That's why we use a soft tint, not a bright one, and stamp out strikes a lot to reach a natural look. In my toolkit I've got both tint for blondes and henna. What would I take for Diana? I would use a tint that doesn't darken the hairs, because blondes often have very thin and pose hairs. I think in this case we can take any light brown tint, so you don't have to worry about darkening eyebrows. But if a blonde has thick hairs, you know, kind of bushy eyebrows, you should be very careful, because any tint can darken hairs, and in the result you will get a blonde with almost black eyebrows. That won't fit her appearance, so what would I do? for blondes. I use two types of the tint. These are Refectosil and Pinacil. Refectosil is pretty thick, it makes hairs darker, so I'd rather use it for brunettes. I don't recommend it for blondes. If my client is a blonde girl with a warm color type, I use a light brown tint by Pinacil. And if her season color type is cold, I mix two tints the light black by Binacil and light brown. But light black gives cold shades on blondes, so add a very small amount of it, not more than 5-10% from the total volume of light brown. If my client is a cold blonde, I use a light brown tint as a foundation and add a little bit of light black graphite. Not more than 5-10%, because light black darkens the color if you add too much of it. And a very small amount of light black, just a small drop. When using the tint, we take 1.52 cm of paste and mix it in 1 to 1 ratio with 3% oxid. While it clear how you should work with tints, 
Henna tends to be a more complicated product for my stuff. How to select the henna color so as not to darken eyebrows? Many of my clients are afraid of dyeing their eyebrows with henna because previously someone selected a wrong shade for them and their eyebrows turned black, but I changed their mind because I'm sure of the henna that I use. My choice is Henna by Henna Expert. It has two blonde shades. Golden blonde is for warm blondes. It has a very beautiful noble subshade of golden color. For natural blondes and cold blondes, we use the classic blonde color. It has a beautiful natural shade that doesn't darken hairs. Why do I like this henna and its blonde shades? I don't have to mix anything. One shade is enough for, for creating natural eyebrow colors, unlike with other henna brands that I tried a lot, with other products I had to mix colors. And I didn't like their subshades because some of them looked unnatural and kept going yellow, orange or ginger. My clients didn't like it either. Now I have finally found a perfect option for dyeing blondes. This is Henna by Henna Expert. Let's see how it works together. To reach the right consistency, we take one scoop of henna and a few drops of water. Mix it to reach the syrup consistency. Before dyeing, we need to prepare the skin. Remove makeup first, then we clean the skin with peeling and shampoo and decrease it with cleanser. Now you can see our result. We have finished the procedure and got beautiful softly colored eyebrows. They look very natural. I've made a gradient because it fits this type of appearance without bright contrast and vivid contours. We have made beautiful eyebrows that highlight natural beauty of our model Diana. Now let's ask Diana if she likes the result. How do you like the form, the width? I love it, thank you! Diana, I will share a few eyebrow care tips for your color to let it last longer. Do not get your eyebrows wet for 24 hours. Avoid using peeling, scrubs, lotions and do not visit a sauna bath or solarium during the first day, okay? Thank you very much for participating in our shoot and you, dear viewers, can learn how to choose the right shade for any color type in our course by ProGlance. It explains a lot of theory and includes practicing your skills with personal models. For more details, click the link in the description. Finally, I'd like to add that I share my own experience with you. There is no such thing as a wrong or right method. Each method works in his own style. I would like to know what methods do you use for eyebrows tinting. Share them with us in the comments. It was Daria Plehanova. See you soon.